life, love, and pop pop culture. Hi, I'm Danielle Delgado. And I'm Giovanni Goprati, and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. And you have pop. <laughs> And the new town. I'm super excited because you recently guest starred on one of my favorite shows, Will and Grace. <gasps> Tell me about that experience. I'm so jealous, by the way. That was, um, Will and Grace was a lot of fun to shoot. Um, it was it was great to be privy to what happens behind the scenes of how like these comedic geniuses go through this process of just making every single draft that the writers throw at us mm. work so flawlessly. Like you watch it on screen, it's like oh they, you know, they're doing making it you know look easy, but it's not. It's a lot of work, and uh, and and they're just such veterans. Um, so for me to be to be able to watch the process and learn so much was really exciting. Aside from that, you're also on Tyler Perry's The Have and Have Not. So um, tell me about your character. Well, Broderick, he is chasing the American dream through some questionable methods. He, um, he we learn uh, soon enough where he's really from and um, why his name is Broderick. And all this, but it, there's 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 a lot to this character. He he, he in the episodes to come and the seasons to come, uh -huh. uh, you'll see his storyline develop, and you'll see that he um, is does something that the fans have been wanting to see for the past five years, and he does it in a way that is going to shock everyone. Mm. Um, okay. Yes. It's, it's, can we talk about how you started acting? Because you kind of used it as a way to like break out of your shell. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> so, I, um, yeah, so I used to suffer, still do, a little bit. Um, social anxiety and uh, fear of public speaking. Mm -hmm. And um, and I was preparing for a career in law, go to law school. So I figured I, you know, I had to get over this and I tried a few other different methods, different classes. None of them really worked, so at the time it just seemed like a great idea to go into acting and mm -hmm. give acting a try and see if, if that would loosen me up and, mm -hmm. you know, give me more confidence on stage and whatnot. And yeah, and then one class led to two years of a conservatory program and then, you know, and then I started acting and uh, made this into a career. And, 10, 10 years later, here we are. It's so great. Yeah. I, I kind of have that fear too. It's oh, yeah. really, yeah. We just, like, we just throw I ourselves in front breathe. of the camera, <laughs> even though we're like panicking, you know, but for some reason, yeah, it's just. It's crazy though. Can I tell you how impressed you am with the fact that you speak French? Oh. <laughs> yes. I get a lot of confused. <laughs> Confused. What do you mean? It's a lot of people confused. It is a lot of people, yeah, because you know you wouldn't expect it. Um, but yeah, I speak Spanish and French. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up in South America, mostly in Venezuela. Um, my parents are Cuban, and I actually got to live also in France growing up mm -hmm. for about a year or so. But yeah, so I speak, I speak French. I need you to say something. Qu'est-ce que tu veux je dire? Alors, j'ai vu, j'ai vu un parti en an. I don't know what he said, but I love it. Aside <laughs> from acting, you're also an advocate for the Special Olympics. So why does this, you know, organization mean so much to you? Um, it's one of those things that's just been knocking on my door for a long time. So I have an aunt that has um, a mental disability, and I shared a room, with, a space, with um, my manager's son, who also has mental disability. Um, we shared space for a few years. Um, so all of that kind of opened my eyes, my heart, my mind to the dealings, the ins and outs, and you know, uh, with, uh, with special needs. And, and, um, and so when the opportunity came around and I, I attended uh, the Golden Meets Golden event, uh, the Gold Meets Golden event um, in 2015, uh, before the Oscars, we got to mingle with the actors, with the special, with the Olympians and the Special Olympics um, athletes, and I met Lucy, Lucy Meyer. She's a spokesperson for UNICEF. So we made friends real quick, and we worked that floor trying to get other celebrities to, you know, to join um, mm -hmm. and and speak on behalf of the Special Olympics and help us out. And then through that work, 
the Special Olympics Committee reached out to me and asked me to be a celebrity ambassador for them. So I accepted. I was, I was, I was super excited about it. And and so I used the platform I was using at the time, which was um, promoting Mall Cop Two with Kevin James. I was in that movie, mm -hmm. and I used that to also help promote um, the Special Olympics. Um, so anywhere I spoke about Mall Cop 2, I also spoke about Special Olympics, trying to bring awareness, trying to bring, educate people on what it is, um, what a special community this is to support, um, how, uh, you know, if, if you're all about inclusion and, and, and diversity and, mm -hmm. and inclusion, this community is actually spearheading that movement. Uh, because if you ever come out and hang out with us and in any of the sporting events at UCLA or Special Olympics or any of the events that we go to, go karting, anything you want, we we, we do it all. Um, you'll you'll notice that there are no there are no boundaries with them, right? Mm -hmm. um, they include everyone. They they don't they don't care about race or class or social status or sexual orientation. None of this really matters to them. Um, all they want is just for you to show up, support, have a good time, talk to them, give them a hug. That's all I want, just all about. I love that you give back, and I can't wait to see more of you. Oh, um, what do you want your fans to remember you for the most? Uh, for doing what I can to pursue my dreams and help others, and having that balance, you know, and it really is something that we can all do no matter what walk of life we're in, right? Mm -hmm. There's no matter how little or how much you can give back, you can help out. Always try to just be involved in, in, in helping uh, the world be better. Um, I think that 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 is um, that is a balance, and that is something that I try to promote, and hopefully others follow suit. And it doesn't really matter at the end of the day what your reasons are, um, mm -hmm. as long as as long as there's good that comes out of it. Life, love, and pop, pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.